Tomorrow is quiz number six, and the topic is Newton's third law. We're going to use this example, Josh vertical jump, to understand Newton's third law. Let's write Newton's third law. In terms of this problem, uh, this is Josh. You're going to write F force on Earth by Josh is equal to force on Josh by Earth. Okay. Uh, so let's see what Josh is doing and how Josh vertical jump inspired us to understand Newton's third law. You saw Josh crouch. 0.2 meter. Why did he crouch? Because he needed some acceleration and acceleration come from crouching. Take a look, Josh crouching. Okay, so what did you see? He crouches 0.2 meter in order to get some acceleration. How much? We'll find out. Okay, um, what else? Height. Uh, so he was off the ground for 37.1 inches and that is more than one meter and that's what I'm going to use it tomorrow's quiz so I'm not going to use that today so what I'm going to use is something uh, that we use in the classroom 0 0.8 meters all right uh, and his mass is 60 kilogram his mass would be different tomorrow because uh, I want you to fully understand this problem. All right, so let's see uh, a few things. Uh, this is, let's say, this is ground. Okay. And this is him crouching. How much does he crouch? 0 0.2 meter. This is also ground. And let's call it location C. Let's call it location A, let's call it location B, let's call it location C. At location C, uh, what is the velocity? At location B, what is the velocity? At location A, what is the velocity? Well, let's find out. At location A, he is in the ground. Right? He is in the ground and he is not doing anything. So, location and velocity must be zero. At location C, uh, right here, uh, the height is 0 0.8. So, when height is 0 0.8 meter, velocity is 0. So, this must be 0. At velocity, uh, velocity at location B, we need to find. So, let's find it. Vf square is equal to Vi square plus 2A. Let, let's replace this one uh, by Vc square. Let's replace this one by Bb square. Let's replace this one by Z. So this become negative, and uh, this uh, is d. Okay, at c the velocity is zero. At b we are looking for it, and d of course when acceleration is negative ten, d is point eight, and when velocity is zero, d is point eight. When height is point eight, velocity is zero. So B, B squared is equal to 16. So B, B is equal to 4. So we found it. Now, as you said that, uh, he crouched to accelerate. So let's find the acceleration. So Vf squared is equal to Vi squared uh, plus 2AD. But uh, uh, let's replace this one uh, by B, B squared, right? Uh, this one is, of course, at uh, uh, now this one is VA. So he crouches from VA to VB. This is the reasoning over here. He crouches from VA to VB. He crouches from VA to VB. What does that mean? That exactly what it means. From VA to VB, he crouches 0 0.2. This is 16. And uh, this is VA is 0, uh, and this is uh, plus 0.4A. Uh, so acceleration is 40. So over here, acceleration is 40. Good. 
and this is uh, kinematics. Now we're going to do dynamics, and that's Newton's second law, Newton's third law. Okay, so to do the dynamics, Newton's third law, let's do this. This is earth. So earth, we're going to use E. And this is Miss Berry. And we're going to use B. Okay, four forces acting on it. Number one is FG. Number two is F prime G. Number three is F push. Number four is F prime push. Now let's do the FG. Changing the board so I can rotate the vector to help you understand. Uh, okay, so let's see. Um, let's quickly find FG. Uh, let's call it FG. So FG would be what? MG. 60 times 90 10, 600. So you want to write 600 Newton. I'm not going to write negative because the direction is given by the arrow. Okay, so this is action. What is the reaction? Reaction is FG prime. F prime G. This is reaction. So this must be, uh, if this is negative 600, this must be positive 600. Again, I don't have to write the direction because direction is given by this one. Again, this is a reaction. Okay, now let's find this one. This one. This is we're gonna call app push. Alright, so app push. App push. And how much is this one? Okay, so right, all the forces acting on the body. All all forces acting on the body is equal to any. What are all forces acting on the body? Let's draw a the body. Move in, move in here. Is this force acting on the body? No, this is not. This force acting on Mr. Body. This force acting on Mr. Body. Good. So I'm going to just copy this. This force acting on Mr. Body. Okay, and that's all we need to know. All the forces acting on Mr. Body. Okay, so what is this one? This one is F push. What is this one? This one is FG. This is equal to M is 60, and A is, of course, a 40. What is this one? 600. This one, 2400. So app push is uh, 3,000 Newton. Good, app push is 3,000 Newton. Okay, excellent. Third law, the size of this one. This is uh, negative 3,000 by Newton third law. Action, reaction. Action, Equal in magnitude, equal in magnitude, equal in magnitude, opposite in direction, equal in magnitude, opposite in direction. Good. Now, net force working, net force on earth, or net force on body. On body, not force on body. Okay, on body, how many force acting on him? I push 3000 Newton, 600 Newton is the F limit. Not force on body is 2400 Newton. That force on earth. 
f net is equal to f net is equal to m or whatever on earth this is on earth a real earth 600 is this an art? No, this is unmeasured value. Is this an art? No, this is unmeasured value. Is this an art? Yeah. Negative 3000. F net. So F net is 2400. Oh, equal in magnitude, opposite in direction. Good. So what do you know? We know net force. 2400 on body on earth. Okay, so to find the acceleration of body, acceleration of earth, half equal to MA. Okay, so acceleration of body acceleration f over m f is uh, 2400 m is 60 acceleration is 40 at location b acceleration is 40 check now we know more information acceleration of mr body acceleration of art f is equal to ma Acceleration of R at location, of course, B, F net over M. F net is negative 2400. F is uh, 6 times 10 raised to 24. Okay. So let's see what we can do. Uh, we can, uh, 6 goes to 24, how much? 4. So this is 400. So 4 times 10 is to 2, divided by 10 is to 24. So this is 4 times 10 is to negative 22, meter per second square. So acceleration of art is negative 4 times 10 is to negative 22, meter per second square. That's why. Josh uh, moved up by how much? Uh, Josh moved up by 0 0.8 meter. On the other hand, the art moved on by, I don't know, almost 0 meter. So that part is not equal in magnitude opposite in direction. So what a student misunderstood is, the distance they move, Josh move up by 0 0.8, up didn't move, go down by 0 0.8. That's not what action and reaction. Action and reaction is force, all right? Net force acting on Josh, 2400. Net force acting on Earth, negative 2400. That's called action and reaction pair, all right? However, acceleration for both body are not the same, therefore, the displacement for both body, therefore, not the same. Josh, uh, 0 0.8 meter, and Earth, almost 0 meter. Okay, so that's going to be uh, for the quiz tomorrow.